All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Pro Football Doc Sports Injury Central podcast as we head towards week seven. Time is flying. Not quite done with week six. Still a game tonight. Of course, I got Jacob here with me and Taylor, who's trying to, you know, flash his Phillies shirt, even though he's in San Diego (laughs) with the Padres. (laughs) And then Justin's always hiding. I'm sure he'll pop in. I don't know why he insists on popping out and then popping back in. You want him in here, huh? Full time, right? I don't know. I mean, who knows? He's, you know, what he's doing over doing, there. Doing right. a lot of behind the scenes stuff. You, you know, go. I don't yeah. want you guys to see my, I'm getting my hands dirty back here. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Show clean. Yep. <laughs> he's working on our baseball videos, basketball oh, content. Yeah. We got everything flying at us. So, oh, yeah, it's all, all good. You know, we're in a good role in the season, man. We, it's a, Interesting week six Sunday yep. here. Thankfully, not a ton of injuries, which is good. I'm getting scared. It's like back to back weeks. I feel like we've said that. So I feel like some things are well, I mean, around. Well, I'm gonna counter you. I don't I don't think there's a lot of injuries, but there's a lot of injury storylines also. Always yeah. well, yeah. Yeah, there's there's no question, right? right? And and look, uh if you have a star get injured, it's a bad week, right? right. right. And if you really look at the numbers, bad week for me and Marquise Brown. Yeah, <laughs> look, it's a bad week for a lot of people. Marquise Brown, yeah. you know, <laughs> we won't even go. I mean, Robbie Anderson, interesting. You guys yeah. talked about the news that he mm-hmm. got shipped out uh, immediately. Well, I feel like we start here every week, but there's always another development to the story, and it's the Miami Dolphins saga with their quarterbacks and concussion protocol and can't escape it clearing <laughs> protocol, but okay. you're still a backup. And yeah, look, I was wrong last week. I said. You know what? There's a reasonable chance that Tua can start and play this game. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, politically and otherwise, it was going to be Skylar Thompson. And Tua got cleared before the game, which is telling us what we've been saying. The Dolphins, even after the investigation, do not believe that Tua had a second concussion that Thursday. Mm -hmm. If you had two concussions four days apart, that's normally a month. He's cleared. He's going to have a full week of practice and start against Pittsburgh. Now, the investigation didn't find anything wrong. Now, I get you guys in this room and the public is like, no, no, that's a second concussion. I'm just... Look, I did too in real time. I thought that was a concussion, okay? But the bottom line is, the only interesting thing I found about the investigation is um, they said nothing was done wrong, but they did indicate that they said it was from the back because that's what the player said. But they also said they didn't examine the back. They examined the back in the first quarter. They didn't examine the back in the second quarter. They, yeah. Hindsight's 2020. I'm not saying there was any malfeasance, but people have asked me this. When I was a head team physician, I didn't examine people for concussions. That wasn't my job. We had a guy or two from our team that was job was. And, and what I told them is take your time and make a solid decision. It was their specialty to do this. Yeah. Okay. And, and look, I'm aware of the protocols. I've been on the meetings, but I just, you know, look, you have to divide and conquer, right? You have to trust them. Right. And I used to say to him, Dr. Izon, Dr. Wong, you examine them and you tell me if you think they're actually okay to return and the UNC agrees with you, I'll back you up even mm-hmm. if they have symptoms later on. If you think he shouldn't return, I will back you up. And we were told the story about getting slugged or threatened right. to be slugged, right. et cetera. But if they told me that quarterback did not have a concussion, I might have said, what about when he fell or was off balance? What was that? Oh, that's his back. I might have said, I don't know. I wasn't there. Did you examine his back? If the answer was no, then I probably would. And see, is there a neurologic issue from his back? And if there was, you get ruled out for that. Right. And I probably would have asked for an explanation. I don't know how many out there have had bad backs. You guys probably not. You're too young. Thankfully, yeah. But I have a bad back. I've actually had three surgeries on my back. Um, One on my neck too, so whatever. Um, When I have a bad back and I'm getting out of bed, let's say in the morning, or up from a 
dining room table or a chair or a couch and my back locks up on me. I freeze. I put my hands on my knees or I grab, I freeze. Mm -hmm. I don't fall to the ground because the act of falling hurts you more. Okay. I, I, I'm not saying that it wasn't his back. I'm just saying I would have wanted to ask that question, but let's move on from all this concussion stuff. What's interesting though is Teddy Bridgewater also cleared. He was the backup. Cleared as yeah. a backup because yeah. they say because he didn't have a full week of practice, how much practice does a veteran need? And I mean, he is new to the team, but. He threw for 300 yards when he came in. So I, I don't know how much practice. Well, I thought needed. I thought the Skyler Thompson thing was interesting too. He he hit the tip of his his thumb, went to the locker room. They didn't seem that urgent to get him checked out and get back in there. And then you said you thought he had a chance to return the whole time. He was in uniform still. Yeah, but McDaniel I mean, said that he was having troubles gripping and throwing, and he didn't. He they said they didn't want to put Bridgewater out there if they you know if they didn't have to. Well, I also thought <laughs> it was interesting that Tua cleared before the game, yes. but wasn't suited. So. Teddy Bridgewater didn't have a full week of practice, but he was active. Right. Tua did, and he was cleared, and he was inactive. Mm -hmm. I mean, not to be conspiracy theory, but right. it wasn't a lot, a lot of uh, talk about that, that he was actually cleared. Right. I mean, so they kind of got that story out of the way, and I know people are still talking about it. So, And the irony is their next game, Sunday Night Football, Pittsburgh Steelers, it's back to Mitch Trubisky mm -hmm. because why? Kenny Pickett left with a concussion. And we talked about it. Some have returned in a week. Teddy returned in a week here. But I think they're arguing it wasn't a concussion. Mm -hmm. It was the spotter saying a taxi. He didn't clear the protocol. That's, that's he, the he word cleared, they're using. Yeah. He cleared the protocol as it was, but they're saying he cleared it because he didn't really ever have a concussion. Right. That's why he got out in one week. Most players are not getting out in one week. And with that, you know, I don't think Kenny Pickett will. Even if he does, Kenny Pickett with limited practice or Mitch Trubisky? I think you're going back to Mitch this week for well, Sunday that's Night That's why I was always scared about Pickett going in because I, I always liked the idea of starting Trubisky for the whole season because their offensive line is horrible. So that this was – I don't know I was we called this, but this was something that was going to happen to Pickett more often than not is because his – putting a kid out there with the offense line like that, you know? Yeah. I mean, th there's a lot more that goes into decision-making right. than just a quarterback's health or anyone's health. Mm. There's a lot of factors. I think we'll, we'll cover it. And there's hiding behind health storylines and yep. quarterback merry-go-rounds in a lot of places throughout the league, five, mm -hmm. six places. Absolutely. Cover one more big concussion, concussion story. And then we'll get to the uh, hiding behind health, the coach speak and stuff like that. But Cameron Brait, left on the stretcher and backboard uh, reportedly evaluated at the hospital for a neck injury and then, but was able to fly home with the team. What did we see by video on, on yesterday, doc? We weren't that worried about his neck, the way he was hit. It wasn't going to be a paralysis thing. He was moving his arms and legs immediately. I, I don't mind the precaution taking him to the hospital. And that may be why they took him to the hospital. Maybe he had a transient neuro thing. We don't know, but he, by video, and you can't judge by video. He clearly had a concussion. He got yeah, hit in the he head. Immediately and went to his head. Grabbing his yeah. head. I right. mean, um, so I get Todd Bull said it was his neck. Yeah, there's been no mention of concussion evaluation from the team. They just said neck, and he's being evaluated. Flew through, the, flew home, everything. Yeah, not avoiding the. Yeah. If that's a second concussion, it's the same season. It was only a couple of weeks ago. Two that's and three. A, yep. That's a prolonged absence here. It'll be interesting to see how that works. And I'm not saying, once again, that there's any shenanigans. I mean, uh, in the end, that was a UNC from the New York area, right? It was mm -hmm. the Jets. They were in New York. We'll see, but I, I can't imagine Cameron Brake plays this week. I think he's going to need a little bit of a timeout. Let's go to the quarterback uh, stories around the league. Uh, start with Baker Mayfield. That's a hangover injury from last week. But all week, you've been telling us in the back end that you didn't think his high ankle was as bad as they made it down to seem. Okay. Baker played two and a half quarters after he injured that ankle. Right. We saw him on the sideline fiddling around. I get it. He was hurt, but he played two and a half quarters. Now I get it that he indeed might've swelled more the next day. I get it. But we remember Daniel Jones playing through a high ankle in London as a mobile quarterback, not, mobile not quarterback. Baker. Yeah. Yeah. Who actually, gimped his way through and and won that game 
with his rushing ability. Yeah. 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 But here we have Baker with the change to P.J. Walker. And I don't know where Sam Darnold is, but there's a lot of turmoil going on in Carolina, right? I mm -hmm. mean, Coach Wilkes, who I know and respect, is the interim head coach. He kicked Robbie Anderson off the sideline, who then promptly got traded. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on there in Carolina. And uh, it wasn't just a head coach. It was some staff that has, you know, basically – his cronies, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, <Yeah. laughs> I would prefer to say the guys that have known and been associated with Matt Rule the longest. That's the correct way, yeah. <laughs> the the long the the not traditional NFL part of the staff. Right. I've heard for the longest time there's there's that staff is fractured. There are the quote college guys, Matt's guys, and the NFL guys. Yeah. And that's been going on for a couple of years. Well, they had Joe Brady there who was from LSU. They've kicked him out already. But yeah, they had a lot of college people. Well, I mean, yeah. the bottom line is, look, what do they do this week? P.J. Walker, uh, I don't know, stat 10, line. 10 oh. to 16 for 60 yards. I had to look it up. <laughs> Two sacks, and he got pulled for concussion too. Eason so, almost yeah. had a better game with like five less passes. Well, that's an interesting <laughs> one. He got pulled for a concussion check. Right. Right. I don't know if we ever followed up and saw if he, he was I actually he was, placed in protocol. No, I think he's okay. But uh, here's what's interesting. Jalen Ramsey, who hit him in the head, didn't get pulled for a check. So the spotter checked on the quarterback, but not the other player, which is okay, I guess. But he was in the pocket. How's that not a penalty? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't want to get too off the rails, but it seems like in, in college, I mean, we have all this talk about concussions in the NFL and then, on Saturday, we were watching college football because we're covering it. And every play, like every game I switch to, there's a targeting call that's maybe targeting, maybe not. Do you think targeting should ever be a thing in the NFL? Yeah, look, I, I hope targeting is never a thing in the NFL or college. I don't like it, don't et like cetera. It but, yeah. you know, all these rules, you just got to get more controversy. Well, the, I mean, you the replays take like two and a half minutes every time. Well, let me tell you the next thing I think that they're going to, end up outlawing um the eagles uh quarterback sneak scrum play mm -hmm. i mean i get that you can push but the idea is that you're kind of blocking you're incidentally pushing those guys just <laughs> had a hand on his back and button pushing him like yeah. it's, it's like rugby and you know guys are all over the place in the ground that's going to be the next safety rule to to uh, get going the other one i've been saying for a while is i can call it the Kenyon drake rule it's not it's going to be a lot of players get hurt not by horse collar all the way down we know that's illegal but hanging on to a guy yep. and swinging your legs because yep. then your legs land on the back of his legs mm -hmm. and then you get injuries so those are some of the areas that the nfl may work towards but look uh it is what it is. I mean, uh, I think targeting is so hard. I think a lot of those players, it's hard to stop when they're already on the way to hit them. There's I mean, no it's, question. Yeah, it's just there's I, no it's, question. Yeah. And, and look, I've been saying it for a long time. Wait a minute. You're coming in as a DB and you're aiming for his waist or chest, but then the wide receiver in. dives yeah, down his head. Exactly. But you've already <laughs> taken off and have your angle. It's yep. very it's difficult. To, yeah. Adjust midair. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's, it's, it's a collision it's, sport. It's, it's tough. It's very difficult. And, uh, but that P.J. Walker thing is interesting. I don't know who's going to start. Sam Darnold should be close to ready. Baker Mayfield is a candidate. Do they really stay with P.J. Walker again? I think starting P.J. Walker was just it's time for a changeup without saying, Baker, you're benched. Right. You're not the starter anymore. It's easy to bring him back now. He just wasn't healthy. So Darnold, they didn't open his window yet, but did, do you think he's one of those players that doesn't need three weeks? He just plays the first week. He's out there. He's already been on the team for years. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't need practice, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. They, they get the bucks this did, week. Did, so. yeah. did, I mean, did Tom Brady get traded to the yeah. Panthers? I mean, I mean, <laughs> right. he's the one who quote doesn't need you're practice. Right. No, you're right. I mean, yeah. he can go to a wedding that, uh, and you know, uh, we won't go. There. Yeah. <laughs> no, Darnold needs all the help, just like we talk about Zach Wilson and stuff. No, I mean, his practice right. yeah. window was not open, so yeah. it would seem unlikely. Um, but don't count Baker out this week. Is I would not count kind of like, hint. Yeah. if you're or Steve Jacob Wills. Eason, right? Jacob Eason. I, I would stream. count him out. <laughs> <laughs> if Jacob is counting Jacob, yeah, Eason so then out, he ain't playing. Trust me, I'm rooting yeah. for all Jacobs. Yeah. Josh Jacobs included. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I think Baker may be the starter again. We'll see. It depends on how they feel about what PJ Walker did. Does that look bad now that he sat this week out and let them like? 
flounder around at, with PJ Walker, or did he really need the week off? Like you said, like well, of course <laughs> they're going to say he needed the week off. Right, right. I mean, we can go through the re- rest of the how you my health example. Let me ask you this question: Do you think Dak is the starter if Cooper Rush won that game mm-hmm. against the Eagles? <laughs> Now, <laughs> and if he didn't throw three picks, is yep. he 100% the starter now? Dak, yeah, yeah, He's, he said so himself. He and said, he I expect to play next, next week. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, he's he's a nice little starter. ramp up. Yeah. I mean, he's the starter this week, and that's six weeks, which so it all said. Now, it was interesting. We always talk about coach speaking, hiding my health. Dak, I saw in an interview, admitted, Yeah, okay, Jerry Jones said. He'll come back before four weeks. We're not putting him injured reserve. Right. That was not going to happen. <laughs> uh, Dak Prescott. And I get why they didn't. They could still have him practicing with the team. That's just Dr. Jones overriding the actual doctor. <laughs> and Dak Prescott said, well, I always said it was between four and six weeks. And I just wanted to push it up to four weeks. But you know what? I'm paraphrasing, but he said, yeah, the doctors always said six weeks was the time. <laughs> so, well, the pro football docs and the yeah. six-score docs agree. Well, that Dallas, You're in alignment. Yeah. Like, this is why we never – I make it a point not criticizing the doctors, not because I'm protecting them, but they don't get their viewpoint out right, there. Right, right. And so – They're never on a podium. I'm yeah. never saying – that doctor's crazy to say four weeks. He might not be saying it. And in right. this case, I don't think he was. It right? gets filtered, the game of telephone, and yeah. Yeah, so. So your experience from that injury, this is what you think. Yeah, it's yeah six <laughs> weeks. And look, he's safer at seven weeks than six weeks. But at this point, so you know. They get Lions, Bears, and then a bye. So I can't think of a better three-week scenario for him to get eased back into. Yeah. Good and, for Cooper, though. He helped him out, right? He got four wins. They would be in a bad they're situation. Not, they're not kicking so him aside. He's good, still no, yeah. available. Okay, we always talk injuries. A little bit of football here. A little. <laughs> I think Cooper Rush is a good quarterback. And he's been in the same system. And he's been well-trained, and he's been given four or five years. He started a couple, too, yeah. I think there's more than you think in the league that in the same system, with the patience, with some promise, could do Okay. I think it's very hard to be great. I I guess know, Matt good, Flynn stepped in, right? I guess I could lead into your one of your other uh, hiding my health is uh, Taylor Heineke. I think if he comes in for Carson Wentz, there's not a lot of drop off. He's played well. He started. He played almost half the year last year with Fitzpatrick out. So I mean, my, my point yeah. on Cooper Rush, since you have your Philly shirt on, I know. <laughs> <laughs> How often do we see that double or triple A call up do pretty well? So the third time through the lineup <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or even if they do very well after a couple of games peter out mm-hmm. i mean cooper rush last game they beat the rams with 10 of 16 for 102 yards i mean no turnovers he did a good yeah. job he's a game manager he's a good yeah. quarterback yeah. he's an nfl quarterback right he's not gonna supplant dak no and, never was and there's yeah. also mental fatigue of all the film study and also getting on film and people attacking you differently and then realizing you're not taking these certain shots. Cooper Rush did a good job. He made a little comeback for the Eagles. Um, Turns out the most impressive win probably against the Giants during that run. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So anyways, yeah. so you were That's talking right. about, yeah. What do you make of the Carson, Carson? Wentz fractured finger? Do yeah, you jumped, know what, do, ahead, which, yeah. fin- which finger is it? I'm trying to rack fourth my finger. I believe fourth finger. So ring finger. Ring finger. How much does well, that come into play? Ring finger, ball? right? Ring finger. Right. <laughs> which which way you count it? <laughs> yeah. The, Bra- um, the Brady finger. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, uh, <laughs> um, Taylor Heineke's the starter. Done. A uh, couple of reasons. Okay. This is another pseudo hiding behind health. He finished that game against the Bears with the finger quote fracture. So he clearly didn't get pulled and could finish. Now, is he all of a sudden not going to be able to play? Okay, maybe he's more sore. Maybe he'll be limited in practice. But he hasn't been playing that well. Ron Rivera, who I respect, said it. Mm -hmm. It's the quarterback play. Taylor Heineke is capable. Right. He's been with him a lot longer than Carson Wentz. This is going to be a hiding behind health. Carson, we still love you. You're not benched. We still like the trade for Carson and we believe in him, but he has an injury. 
Ring Taylor finger Heineke. from Flurry Hand. It's right, the yeah. same thing Baker Mayfield. Oh, no, no, no. We still love him. I mean, but throwing hand injury, here we go. Let's get, let's move on to the next. He's going to see term. a specialist as well. Is that another thing? They'd be like, oh, that's a, he can go see a specialist a couple weeks, relax, see what's going on. I mean, yeah, that's all plays into it. But okay. I, I don't see how Carson Wentz is the starter this next week. Okay. Um, I just don't see it. Uh, and that's just the way that it's going to go. Um, he's not the kind of quarterback at this point that cannot practice and do well. Those are few, far between mm-hmm. uh, those quarterbacks. Yeah, they're 29th in points scored this year, but 16th in passing yards. I think most of that was them coming out the gate hot. He had two over 300 games, threw for over 300 against Tennessee last week, or two weeks ago, but then the 90 yards or whatever it was against the yeah. Bears. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, if you were coaching the commanders and you had a healthy Taylor Haneke, Carson Wentz, who's been struggling some of late with a fourth finger fracture. Do you take a timeout for a week? I'll I see mean, what Haneke's got. Not, yeah. I mean, they're not trying to win. They're in like a little, you know, rebuilding year. They haven't had great, you know, so oh, it's just, I don't know about that. They're trying to win. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> trying to win every week. <laughs> sorry, Ron. Yeah. Sorry. You're trying, uh, trying to I win. I think they're trying to win. <laughs> you're going to the NBA. There's no taking going they're, on. No, they're just not, they're not, uh, they haven't started the year well. So I think yeah. they're, like you said, this is a position for them to go back see what Heineke can do the other quarterback uh possible controversy maybe we're maybe we're creating the controversy is Mac Jones versus Bailey Zappi Zappi's had a heck of a two weeks and Mac Jones I mean he's he's been fighting every week to play but we've he's seen his day throws today <laughs> day by day <laughs> taking it day by day yeah. so it's another week of day by day uh, you know reading the tea leaves I think Mac saw this coming which is why you know, I think I might have gotten it wrong. Like, you know, Bill put him out the practice. No, I don't think it was Bill. I think it was Max. Hey, said, look, look, guys, I'm, I'm, out here. Go. <laughs> I'm out here. I'm close. I'm close. And that's another hiding mind health. I mean, people made a big deal about Coach Belichick not saying who the starter is. He's had chances to say it, and he hasn't. And, uh, you know. Mac gets the extra day of rest. They play Monday against the Bears. So I think this will be the real telling week of who he likes more at the moment. This is the fourth week. Correct. He's not a mobile quarterback, wait, wait, which is my thing. This is the too. fourth week. You're gonna tell me 24 hours is gonna make a difference. I mean, <laughs> day by day, Doc. I'm taking it day, uh, day by day. I mean, that's that's quite a special day. If the 28th day, <laughs> you funny. know, 29th day is gonna make you go back. Super I mean, special day. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, look. Remember what we said from the beginning. Mac Jones was deciding on surgery or not. This was minimum four week injury. This is four weeks. He's not going to be 100% this week. And with Bailey Zappi doing well, this is an easy hiding behind health. Oh, he's, I'm not, Coach Belichick isn't saying who's the starter is as well, but there's the injury. So you give Zappi a chance. If Zappi continues to do well, maybe he will take the starting job. But right now, he doesn't have to decide. Let's go back to two years ago. Tyrod Taylor gets the punctured lung. Mm-hmm. What did Coach Anthony Lynn say? Tyrod's the starter. He's my guy. Yep. He's my guy. Yep. He's starting as soon as he gets back. Mm-hmm. And then Justin Herbert did okay. And it's like, you know, Tyrod, take your time because we want you at 100%. Don't rush back. It's for your health. And then it morphed to, yeah, you're not the starter you can't anymore. Say, yeah. <laughs> You've lost you know, your after yep. four weeks of Justin Herbert doing well, okay, yeah, I got to stay with Justin at this point in time. I'm going to lose a locker room if I don't. So this has happened all the time. Things he's, morph. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just, you know, it's just the way that it is. And I'm not hating on Anthony Lynn. It's, it's part of the coach speak, right? This is what people do. This is kind of what you have to do to manage a team and the PR side of it. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get into the last quarterback, and then it kind of bleeds into the coach speak segment. But Jameis Winston, Dennis Allen has failed to name a starter for the Thursday game against the Cardinals. Coming up quick, I mean, uh, Andy Dalton started the last two weeks. Jameis had the ACL recovery, of course, but then ankle and back issues. We're not exactly sure where he's at in the recovery process with that, but it seems like they're they're not rushing to get him back, especially on a short week. Now, remember, Jameis, with his, quote, transverse process fractures, played that first week. Right. Now, maybe he didn't play well because of that. And now he's missed the two games after that. The transverse process fractures are better. His knee probably still isn't fully better. Right. But like we said, he's good in the pocket from his knee, but not running. That's our preseason He's report. a mobile quarterback, yep. But here you go now. Now you have Dalton, no Michael Thomas, no Jarvis Landry. Okay, maybe... Uh, Chris Olave, mm-hmm. no Adam Troutman, right? Yeah. So 
it's an interesting predicament as they have. Dennis Short Allen week. yesterday said, uh, or today said, James Winston was healthy enough to be the emergency third quarterback on Sunday behind Taysom Hill. Well, what's the one thing I told you about too? Like before we did this, is like Dennis Allen didn't bring Winston in at Dalton says guys, so that might be something Peyton brought Winston in. So there might be something going on there that he that's just this is who he thinks is going to run his offense better, right? Uh, yeah, he's been, like been helping. Been helping Kamara. Yes. I'll say that. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I mean it's an interesting. And then the other thing that plays into this is it's a short week. So do you want to make changes? The problem is the Saints didn't win, right? So, right, right. So I think that if the Saints won, it'd be Dalton for sure. But since they didn't win, the question kind of is, the question. on a short week, which is the better way to go? Do you want to make changes on the short week? I can I can tell you this. If Dalton is the starter on Thursday and they don't win, it will be Jameis Winston in the 10 days after that. You're just playing chicken until the situation gets, like you said, and then they can change the wording and then everything, yeah. Yeah, so they, you know, it's a, it's a management to, of what's going on. When when you don't have a clear start, look, um, was it two seasons ago? Philip Rivers didn't practice at all with the turf toe, but he started every game in the playoffs. So he was the number one. Speaking right. of I mean, Jacob Eason, that's who was the backup. So they, <laughs> yeah. it all comes back. <laughs> yeah, six yeah. degrees of Jacob Eason. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. yeah. I mean, Tom Brady, you know, when when he almost tore off his thumb before Jacksonville, he's the starter. You don't need to practice. Right. Right. Just the way. That it is Aaron Rodgers with his thumb or no thumb. I mean, bottom line is he's the starter. I mean, uh, without practice, he's still playing. Well, the other coach speak from Dennis Allen. I want to get your take on. Uh, they're asking about Michael Thomas and the decision not to put him on AR because he's missed three games. Pro- probably going to miss the Thursday game as well. So that'd be four. He said there's no crystal ball that says exactly when someone's healthy enough to play. That's true. Sixscore.com's close, kind of. <laughs> hey, that's a little shameless plug <laughs> yeah. for us. Yeah. We're not a we're not a crystal ball, but we got some no, kind of insight. We try. <laughs> okay. There's no question that coaches and GMs used to want to know from me on Sunday, what's this high ankle going to be like? And I would say this is what we know right now, but give me 24 hours for a second data point. Like, I mean, if we're looking at the stock market, how much is it going to rise or drop? Give me a second day. I mean, <laughs> look at a trend, right? A second data point to see how much overnight swelling there is. So there is different things that can happen. But under the current rules, I mean, you could have put Michael Thomas on IR on Saturday. Mm-hmm. I mean, so you would have almost a full week to right. see. And even if you didn't, and I get why maybe they didn't, because roster spots aren't as precious anymore because of the practice squad call-ups. So you're not as impacted as you might be in the past. You have more practice squad call-ups. Right. And the practice squads aren't just first or second-year players. You have a 10-year vet on your practice squad. Yeah, Marlon squad. Max and the Tevin Coleman's are all getting, yeah, they're all there. And so Phil Blinsey's, yeah. It gives you a little more roster flexibility. Right. So you may not need to. So that may be why you're seeing Dak Prescott not on injured reserve. Hey, on the, okay, we really don't think Michael Thomas is going to play before four weeks, but boy, oh boy, we'd kick ourselves on the 10% chance that he could. Yeah. So I, I'm not even blaming the doctors or team physicians. I mean, the way he explained it, it was almost, well, it's just the information we have, almost putting it on the doctors. Right. But it's not black and white and things can change. And you just, it's a one-way street once you put them on injured reserve. So they probably didn't. And you have to think about this. By not putting them in your reserve, they could test them out and practice this week a little bit before the Thursday game mm-hmm. and then still decide, although it's pretty clear he's not playing at this point in time. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's all I had for Coach Speak. Let's get into the key injuries going into next week. Uh, Niners got another week of more injuries. Charverius War with the soft tissue, groin injury, and uh, right tackle Mike McGlinchey with a calf. Yeah, I mean, that's a big matchup against the Chiefs this week too. Think, think think about this. We've been really talking about the defense, right? And that's why we took Atlanta yeah. um, in our sick picks and other things mm-hmm. and the outkick picks. And they won outright. Pretty as safe underdogs. the whole way, yeah. And this is why three out of four defensive linemen starters, including Nick Bosa, are injured. Uh, linebacker. Yep. Yeah, Ebukam, the right defensive end, the healthy one, picked one up during the game. During the game, yeah. tried to finish, mm-hmm. did finish, but maybe not 100%. In and out, yeah. Uh, and then uh, Jimmy Ward broke his hand in his first game back. Then Mosley tore his ACL. Now, Shavarius Ward, now number one, in addition to number two corner, out with the groin. Jason Brad still recovering from the ACL. And the question is, 
you know, so just in terms of starters there, which one is really coming back? I mean, it's not Mosley. I doubt it's Ward. I don't think it's Nick Bosa. Kinlaw's on uh, injured, IR, injured yes. reserve. Yep. Ebicom maybe can play through. Um, Armstead has a foot. He has a play through a couple weeks, he yeah. said. And he Ar- already tried to come back, and he left Armstead the game. Armstead is probably yeah. not. Yeah. Al Shazier is still on He's IR. IR. Mm-hmm. Yep. Jimmy Ward may be in a cast. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that still would make six out. They didn't put him on IR, correct? So no, he's, Ward, he's, yeah. yeah. And okay. I'll bet they're trying like heck to try and get Trent Williams back. Because now you're down McGlinchey. Now you're down your left tackle and your right tackle. I mean, and you're taking Kittle away from your passing game, which is affecting. Which you side as well. do you chip yeah. on at this point yeah. in time? Yeah. Right. So the 49ers and they play this week. on top of Trey Lance. We forgot about him as well. Uh, yeah. Jimmy well, G's uh, softened the blow a little yeah. bit. Yeah. That's how well, many injuries I've had. You forget yeah. about Trey Lance. Yes. <laughs> well, you're also forgetting. Who else are you forget? Oh, uh, Mitchell, Elijah Mitchell. Yeah. Yeah. Right you're right. Back. No, you're right. About Elijah Mitchell. You, you stun, you stun <laughs> me too. Yes, I forgot about that one too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're they're in Ravens territory they are in Ravens or territory. past Ravens territory. Which, by the way, Dobbins, I guess, had a flare up of his knee. Yeah, he said his knee tightened up. He wasn't used in the second half. At just the continuing issues from the multi ligament. Well, they've used him so much the last couple of weeks, and this is why we had eight seventy five as his prop, yeah. right? The under when we went to six picks, like. It's so how many not, yards does he have total? Does he even have 200? I can look for you, but I would probably, I would I'd say, over I'd under say yeah. buck 50 <laughs> yeah. so yeah. far, not even barely 100. Oh, who knows? Um, anyways, uh, 123 yards, not yeah. hating on him, yep. like that's his knee, man. It's, yeah. Yeah. He's he's done very well, but 49ers, big deal. And who do they play? So they get the Chiefs, the Rams, <laughs> and then a bye. It's a bad team to face when you're injured. It's yeah. a bad two Especially game on, the de- on the defensive that, side. That's yeah. me, the injury bowl in week eight against the Rams. Yeah, the Rams. Achilles for note boom. Their left guard, two, center three, right guard three. Yeah, we talked about it too. The Rams have a bye this week, but Brian Allen might be the only realistic one that's coming back. Because he had the knee clean out. He seems like it's been longer. I feel like we've said it like a week ago he maybe should have came out because it was before, it was maybe and, week two, three. But and, I mean, and let's throw out our theory on the Cam Akers. Oh, yeah. Yes. When we watched that game, there were a couple of plays that I saw that Daryl Henderson and maybe the tight end Higby disappeared. Everyone's like, where's Higby for injury? No, Higby's blocking. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah. No, no targets. No targets. Yeah. There were times that Higby and uh, Daryl Henderson looked like personal protectors. They lined up in front of Matt Stafford on the uh, in the shotgun, and they were picking up yep. A-gap blitzes and whatever. Daryl because... Henderson center, is the center four, right? <laughs> That's what he, he was at. I like. mean <laughs> – they were. <laughs> yeah. I was like, "Wow, I've never seen and like that that, that close, close yeah. up." Yeah. You know, for the center pressure, you notice that immediately, yeah. And Cam Akers, if you go back to Week One, when the Rams played the Bills, got three carries. Wasn't in the game much. And the implication, and we talked about on the podcast, is it's a pass pro. Pass pro has been his issue. Mm-hmm. Now, if you have a front line offensive line, forget pass pro that's already hampered. Can you even play Cam Akers if that's the problem? They made the choice, and it's Malcolm Brown. And he had, seven, he had seven carries. They didn't even care about his 15 yards. It was about him being out there and blocking. I mean, yeah. It seemed like Cam Akers was going to be a healthy scratch, and that's where some of the mm-hmm. controversy and disagreement came up. They were using uh, Powell a lot, who's a wide receiver, but he's very good at blocking. Um, they they Just look at their rushing stats. They used uh, about eight different people in the rushing. And that means just scheme. They are just using different people. They had uh, Ronnie Rivers, who had just got off of the practice squad, blocking as well. So they were playing musical chairs at that position. Yeah, and that's uh, and I don't think it has anything to do with Cam Maker's Achilles. I think his yeah. Achilles is fine. Another big injury in that division, uh, Marquise Brown, we saw left the game. They they labeled it lower le- or leg we saw you saw foot in the clip, and now That's part Sheff, of the lower leg. is reporting this morning that's a pen, potentially season ending injury for Marquise Brown. They're still doing tests. Well, the worry is a list, Frank. He had a list, Frank, coming out of college that he had surgery on. Mm-hmm. There's no fracture, but if the bones are separated, there's still the possibility of surgery. What we said in game, and you can look at the video, YouTube channel, or, or six score site, is lucky if it's for. If he can avoid four weeks, it's multi-week injuries. Okay. Now, did we go so far to say for sure season? I mean, that was on the radar screen. If you ask me, I think I'd say 
more likely season than avoid the four week IR. Right. <laughs> Certainly more likely season than play this Thursday. He's not playing. I mean, right. And uh, Hopkins coming back at the right time, though. And Robbie, Anderson. Robbie Anderson, Anderson, Anderson came at the right time. Yeah. So they, you're asking what they got, they, what they traded him for a sixth round, 2024 sixth rounder, and a 2025 seventh rounder. You said Lay's potato chips was what you told me. Is that not Lay's potato <laughs> chips? That might be less. No, I'm going to have to jump no. in here. Uh, as somebody who frequently <laughs> watches Panthers our, football games, our Panthers beat reporter, yeah. that's an absolute <laughs> steal for the Panthers. Uh, honestly, <laughs> the fact that they got picks at all and, 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 and two is incredible for me. I don't know. That's wild. <laughs> Given what happened on Sunday, too, you think that would have just added to the, to the urgency to get them out? Like the price should have gone lower. Just it from the Charlotte Observer. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, <laughs> I've seen more than enough Robbie Anderson drop footballs to know that I don't, I don't want him on my team. So, well, well, Taylor you, wants him in fantasy. I already, tr- I already shot a trade to multiple leagues already. Oh, I bless your heart. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the other thing, Dondre Hopkins, the question is, there was no practice window for him. Well, the one thing I think people are forgetting about him, too, he he left last year with a torn MCL. He didn't just leave because of the suspension. So he's still he's surgery, gotta play. Right? Yeah, he had to play. He's first game back. I know the rest. He's definitely you said he's going to be fully healed. We talked about that. When, he's healed. But, um, uh, yeah. DeAndre is interesting. I mean, was he allowed if, to go through training camp? I don't know if that, that off the top of my head. I don't think you're allowed to be at the facility, but you're allowed so. to hang out and train with them. I, I'm not sure that that because this is suspension. Right. I'm not sure mm-hmm. the suspension rules, but I know he hasn't been in the facility, and there's no yes. practice window to right. open. Right. So now here he is, ready to go short on Monday. Week. Short week is he? And they make need it? him more. They, like like maybe in the, uh, they could have eased him in with Marquise Brown. They might have traded for Anderson. Who knows? But um, we'll now see if they have, back too. Yeah, they need to have Hopkins there immediately producing like he did before. And I don't know, like I said, if he could do that. Yeah, it'll be an interesting matchup on Thursday. The other uh, interesting one from this week is uh, Randall Cobb with the high ankle sprain. Um, looked decently bad by video. Not not as bad as he thought it was initially. He, he thought it was a fracture. It's had the towel over his head, getting carted off and stuff like that. Yeah, but, before you get to that one, like uh, I just do with the six score doctor's injury evaluation, your your little algorithm with the free sick picks, what are you guys, like 5-0 and oh or 6-0 yeah, now? There's no pressure. There's no pressure. There's no pressure for me. <laughs> he doesn't overthink them. He's I'm just, not, I'm just writing them like, I'll yeah. add a pick for fun. <laughs> Yeah, commanders aren't going to go over 19 Three, and a half. Easy. Yeah. Six picks, <laughs> yeah. five and oh. Is this last, last two weeks? Yeah, five and oh. Yeah. Oh, we had the. <laughs> I, I'm, I think it's more than five and oh because it was a clean sweep on the Colts game. Yeah. Three and oh on that yeah, game. I think it's so. like seven and one for the year. And the one <laughs> loss, I don't even know if it's a loss or not. So I'm just adding, I'm just adding it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, Cobb, ankle. I don't think this is bad. It's made out to be. I think he can avoid four week IR. But Aaron Rodgers, his thumb. Yeah. Yeah, thumb's important for grip. Yeah, but you're out there. I mean, did, it what you, it is. I mean, did you uh, see the quote from Lafleur saying, "Oh, he's ba- he was battling through the thumb injury. It was a lot of pain out there." They threw him 41 times. Welcome to the NFL. Yeah, 80, 85% is a good week. I mean, you know, I mean, what, Matt, what Matt Ryan saying? threw it like 59 times. You know, and he's like 87. Yeah. So. So. <laughs> no, I mean, look, you're out there. Uh, I don't know. It is what it is. Um, and I don't know that he had that bad of a game i mean it's it's more that i don't think they were able to run the ball that game and right and that's what they need this year they need to run first yeah yeah i think the jets are surprising people with their defense a little bit i mean zach wilson put up some points a little bit against the packers but i think that game was the defense primarily i think dwayne brown helped out a lot right there right they they surprisingly they had a hole there and and Remmers is coming. Remmers is coming up. He had a knee injury last year. He's going to be. They've been working him in. So if you have Remmers and Dwayne Brown, I know if you put their ages together, it's not great. But uh, they're they're serviceable. Yeah, they got yeah. that veteran savvy. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get to the piece of the week. Uh, we got a couple ones to run through. I think the main one is from that Jets and Packers game. Sauce Gardner running around with the cheese head <laughs> after uh, after the pick six. That was kind of gifted to him. We talked about, but. Uh, who's the beast there? Sauce Gardner with the little gloating move or Alan Lazard casually flipping it off his head as he runs the locker room? Yeah, I mean, I need a little more information there. That game was in New York. In New York. Where do you get the cheese head from? 
It's a good I mean, question. He, I've been thinking it, about was, that. Was too. it like the the old Sharpie out of the sock? I mean, where did the cheese head come from? <laughs> he rip it off a fan's head from the. Stadium. I mean, I, I don't, don't know. know. I'm just saying. Did a fan throw it at him? Did he ask for it? Trade it was, an autograph. Oh, it was in Green Bay. It? That makes more sense. Oh, it was in Green Bay. Oh, yeah. I thought I was wrong, man. I thought it was in. Oh, that's right. It was in Green Bay. Okay, so there's a lot of cheese heads to be had. Yeah, like there might have been one on the ground. The fan probably threw one there, bad. Yeah. Okay, that makes that makes complete. sense. Lazar was the best. I like the interaction. He just walked by, knocked it down, and just ran right by him. Like walked to his locker room like didn't even say anything didn't talk crap just well, i think right and they asked about it afterwards and lazard said no it was funny and he's like i got no ill will towards him it was a funny move but if you're the closest one as a, on your team and you go back to your locker room they're gonna they're you gonna make sure hit you hit head. that yeah. off his head yeah. okay so then the beast is sauce gardner in the sense of wait you're in green bay yeah. and you're trying to antagonize people and, he I mean, six, and you're a rookie he, he yeah. picked six yeah. rogers that game too he was he was he was good he's good he's a top pick he's no he knows rogers had a pick that game yeah he did Threw it low, bounced off Tanya's hand, and it bounced right up to him. That's yeah. why Sauce had a little juice in him. Yeah. He was okay. excited, yeah. <laughs> You're proud of yourself. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Justin's not popping in because he's <laughs> sad about the Packers. But yes. uh, Jordan Poyer is the other one. Driving to – no, not driving. Use a the, driving the, service. The, the, the stats do not give Aaron Rodgers a pick. Really? What do they call it? Do they reverse it? I don't know. I'm just saying the stats yeah, don't show yeah. a pick. I was pretty sure whenever they went back and they reviewed it that it that it definitely hit the ground on the side angle. But I that not to take away from Sauce Gardner. You've been he hiding was, with that, Ben. You should have said no, that. No, but I, I also didn't have a complete confirmation. So if he's not seeing it on the stat line, I'm putting two and two it together that it definitely no, didn't sure. happen. So yeah, but but at the end of the day, Sauce Gardner's still really good and and I gotta give him his respect, even as a so, Packers fan. It was so apparently, good. yeah, that pick six didn't happen. So yeah. You're right. All right. As you were <laughs> Um, go ahead. Well, then that, we that's even more beast to run around. You didn't even have a pick six. <laughs> I, what do you I, even I, do I, that I game? actually thought it was less beast because he was already on top of the world, but maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just inventing his own. Yeah. Uh, Jordan Boyer using a, a driving service to get to Kansas City from Buffalo. He his, used it? He used it. <laughs> uh, he talk, had, talk he told happened. someone to coordinate to use it. The bills? Is that is that something you ran across in your, your years of experience with ribs and potential lung issue i won't say who okay we had a road game and the reason to not fly has nothing to do where was the game at is that uh, too much taylor's trying to find out no who. i'm sorry that's how i get <laughs> a three-hour flight okay. how about that's, that you're, okay. you're funny there you go. so hard but yeah <laughs> I don't want to. No, know. no, no. You're good. I'll just. I'm trying to get out of you. <laughs> it wasn't Vegas at the time, so yeah. there was no. It was a three-hour flight. Yeah, I mean, Vegas. <laughs> During the game, had rib fractures, and we believed a partial lung collapse. So you go, you don't fly because of the lung collapse. Why is that? Back? Actually, I don't like. Because medically. in theory, the pressure differences, it could insufflate more air and it's more cause pressure more on your a, lungs. Okay. Cause more of a collapse. Okay. okay. Uh, I think it's more in theory than in reality, right. but no doc wants to mess like with it. Like it's never happened before? or like, Well, you got to realize that cabins are pressurized. <laughs> sure. yes, it's yes. normal. I mean, You're not, not hanging on the wing. Yeah. It's not the old <laughs> yeah. fashioned deal, right? right. Um, but don't chance it, like you said. But yeah, yeah, so he wasn't allowed to fly. And he actually flew home with a partial chest tube still in on the plane with the athletic trainer. Mm-hmm. Wow. They thought it was safer to leave the chest tube in clamped, not on suction. And that way, if he had a lung collapse, you could suck and it would reinflate immediately. Wow. And it would be safer. So it's happened before. And, and remember, Deshaun Watson drove to a game. To Jacksonville, yeah, 2018. Yeah, 2018. 15 hours is a long time. I mean, it wasn't like he called up Uber and the driver said, 15 hours? I'm not taking That's you. an I mean, expensive Uber, by the way. I guarantee you it cost Poyer nothing. Yes. <laughs> the bills paid for that. And whatever. Look, good on him. He's willing to and, – and look, you'd say, well, if he can't fly, how can he play a football game? Because of the pressure issue. Yeah. And so I mean. he's a beast for being willing to do that. But the most interesting thing is – he probably already flew. Yeah. The game that he hurt his ribs was in Baltimore. In Baltimore, right? yep. Right. And he flew back. That's a short flight, less than three hours, right? Oh, that's a short he flight. He walked yeah. it if he's driving yeah. 15. No, but, yeah. but my point is, then he didn't play the next week. 
and it's possible that there was no partial leak detectable at the time. Right. So I'm not saying the Bills doctors did anything Stadium wrong. Stadium x-rays, not Stadium as Stadium x-rays, this, that, the other. Yeah. He's breathing fine. There's no difference. And then he lands and they say, oh, here it is. That's probably why he didn't play the last week. And this week they said, no, no, too soon to drive. So it's too soon to fly. So he said, oh, I want to play. Of course, Kansas City, he wants and to And they go. need him, right? No, like, it's Without great. Hyde, yeah. It's so, great. Yeah, yeah, no Mika Hyde with yeah. his neck. Yeah. But here's the good news. Bye week. Green Bay in Buffalo. In Buffalo, yeah, week eight. And then week nine, they travel. I mean, it's done. He's flying week nine. The thing is done. The only thing that might impact him is somebody said on Twitter, I don't know if it's true, I assume it's true, that uh, it might interrupt his bye week plans if he had a couple days off. I guess he lives in Florida. Oh, uh, Jordan Poyer. He went I mean, to school there. So, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Might change what he's, you know, it might mean a few more, uh, uh, wings at the anchor bar in, <laughs> in in buffalo instead of leaving i saw someone week. i saw someone else on twitter saying he's he's uh the respect is not for doing the drive but doing that boring drive from buffalo to kansas city he said there's not not a lot in the way there to stop off and see i get it <laughs> but i you have to confirm he's not missing this. a chiefs game this wasn't a Toyota Corolla. He was in a van, actually. It's been really. I was gonna say yeah. Yeah. he's gonna be in a travel where he could yeah. lay down, yeah. right? And game, and we'll have internet and whatever. It's not the Uber that uh, Hunter Renfro ordered for PlayStation yeah. Five. It's all in there. Yeah. I mean, he's watching game film in there, maybe. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it's his his accommodations are probably better than a New York City apartment. I mean. <laughs> Probably. No, yeah. I, good on him. Okay. Yeah. He's a beast for wanting to do that. But the, that's, uh, that's. It is funny how the news comes out. We had them with Machado earlier uh, in the baseball season that oh, he, he had the ankle swollen, swollen, so he didn't want to fly. So, so it came out that he drove, but it turns out he had a car service as well. So they're not making these guys drive. These guys are millionaires. And an ankle. I didn't even make any sense anyway. So, yeah. like, don't even. <laughs> It's a 40 minute flight. You could have wrapped it. I mean, whatever. It's, <laughs> exactly it's <fine>. correct. <laughs> we never forget. Yeah. yeah. And then you, you guys still had, you, you had something about Braid or Tom or no? Oh, like, oh yeah. That was so, just a, a clip of, uh, so Braid, when he was down with the concussion, everyone's around him. They're bringing out the cart and everything. And Brady's off to the side getting some throws in. Is that normal? Is that Brady? So, Brady's so good. He knew he was okay. I don't know what happened okay. there, but I wouldn't, Bra know, I don't know if that's a good look. Okay. Yeah. Everyone's around. I seen the video. Tom is throwing to an assistant coach yep. or somebody. Yes. Yep. 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 Here's my thing. By video, we said likely concussion. Not that worried about his neck. And I get it. Tom is laser focused. It is kind of a bad look, right? I mean, uh, first of all, if you're going to do it, can you do it on the sideline? I mean, he was <laughs> doing, doing it like right right over there, the right pile there. almost. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it's a, it's not a great look. <laughs> secondly, does Tom really need to do that? Well, he wasn't there he on Friday. He didn't get a full week of so. practice. Yeah, but the better beast move is not him throwing. A beast move for me is, I'm look, remember how much shit we all gave it? I gave Urban Meyer for not flying back with the team. Back yep. with the team. That's just staying with your troops. Mm -hmm. Not flying to the game with your team. <laughs> and, okay, admittedly a walkthrough. Missing a walkthrough? For your former owner's wedding, yeah. For a wedding, on top of missing ten days in the pre in the preseason too, he has to. I, when I get in trouble with my parents, they always rolled like nine things together. So I can't just say the one thing with Brady. Like, you gotta <laughs> do all the things, right? It's a whole. I mean, compass. that's a beast move. Yeah, and then you lose to the Steelers on top of that. And and, and think about this. And he yelled. You see the video? He was yelling at his offense lineman. As I would be like, what, what are you yelling at me? Like, you weren't even here, here Friday. <laughs> okay. okay. Tom Brady. Is a beast. He's a goat. So yeah, I'm not absolutely. Well, that's him. To be, yeah. But we talked about if Trey Lance stops, steps out of the back of the end zone versus Jimmy Garoppolo. Rookie are, mistake. Okay. What do we get? This. Yeah. If you're not Tom Brady, okay. If you're Aaron Rodgers, who's a very good quarterback, some would say equal or better to Tom, depending, right? And you miss a walkthrough, and you go to another owner's wedding, you fly not with the team. You're throwing on the on the field like that. You're breaking surfaces. You're yelling at your offensive line. What's the narrative? He's out of control. He's breaking yeah. tablets. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Aaron Rodgers. Surface people tablet. like. Did, know, it sounds did, like he's like a surface. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers <laughs> didn't have a good game. Oh my gosh, thumb he lost. 
Tom Brady lost two. Let me read you two stat lines. 26 for 41, 246 yards, six yards a pass, one touchdown, no interceptions, 88.1 quarterback rating. B, 25 for 40, 243 yards, 6.1 yards a pass, one touchdown, no interceptions, 87.8. Is there a difference? That's exact same. Exact same. A was Aaron Rodgers, B was Tom Brady. <laughs> But there's and no grief one, for it. One's like have missing. an answer for it. One's just well, one plays. Oh, he has no line. wide receivers. There's always it's not them. It's Neither everything does, yeah. else. Yeah. So for me, the beast move is that he went to a wedding. That's a beast move. <laughs> I mean, okay, your owner's wedding and Elton John was playing. I get all that. How that's like a, beast a cool move. wedding to go to? Oh, completely! It like an awesome wedding. Yeah. <laughs> completely. Uh, that's Free why it's a beast cheese. move. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. hating no, on no, for yeah. sure. That's. I mean, that's a cool wedding. Yeah. All you can eat mac and cheese. I mean, I don't blame him. Is it really there? No. no. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't blame him. I don't know what's true about the marital troubles and the whole thing. Uh, there's priorities in life. And if he was trying to do something with his marriage or his family for 10 days in training camp, I almost blame him less for that. On the eve of a game, going to a wedding for fun, send a gift. I mean, you know, you can send a nice one. You're Tom yeah. Brady, I like mean, avocado something, right? Yeah. I mean, I remember because it was COVID, it didn't happen. But your sister was going to get yeah. married, and you were mad that she was going to get married on a football weekend, and yeah. you wouldn't have gone. That's your sister. You're in the wedding. Yeah. And you were going to try and not go to what? Sit in the command center. I had nine different plans, and it didn't. I would have maybe didn't acted on portion, one of them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, we didn't get to see that yet. <laughs> this was a wedding of another team's owner. I was like, wow, that's he's a beast. He might be my winner. No, I don't know. That's a beast to pull that off. The it thing is. of just him... he had, he, like you said, he didn't have a bad game. Like he was, it was okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, well, he had the same game Aaron Rodgers had. That's and people saying. were saying Aaron Rodgers yeah. had a bad game. Yeah. yeah. He had the same game. Aaron, and, you know, I mean, they, they both lost. I mean, yeah. I guess Aaron lost by more, but, you know. Is he trying to have it all? He's trying to have the retirement life and play football? I don't know. I mean, uh, I didn't even know he realized Kraft was singles. Get it? But uh, <laughs> I didn't know he was getting married. Like I was, I didn't even realize he was. Justin needs to bring out the food yeah. button. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. We need, we need a sound effect on some of this stuff. <laughs> no, you mean his his longtime wife, everyone loved, passed I never, away. Oh, okay. And the whole deal, and he, you know, it's. Oh, that's was the excuse for his the Florida stuff. They said he was like sad or something. I don't know. Uh, We're two in the weeds here. <laughs> now you're yeah. weeds That's me, not you guys. You guys are good. Stuff. You guys are clean. Yeah. I mean, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Sixscore.com. That's all we got. You, yes. you can check out the injury updates throughout the week, including uh, Monday stuff for Monday night and the Thursday night game, Saints and Cardinals coming up. And, and my, basketball. My, and basketball and, and baseball. Baseball, you know, look, the healthier Padres prevail, the healthier Phillies prevail. We'll yep. see about we'll, the Yankees tonight. We'll see about yep. the Yankees tonight. Uh, baseball content's been good, and basketball starting, and uh, the big overlap. All the all the, hockey's there. I know you don't want to talk about it, but it's alive. And then, and yeah. then I and then I feel like you guys are going to come up with another Thursday free pick for sick pick. For, yeah, for keep an eye Thursday out. Game. Don't pressure me. I need. Might, it's usually just like, a <laughs> throw in. And it might works. be Robbie yeah. Anderson related. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm excited that would, about that. Him. Would be bold. That would be bold. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that the algorithm is going to say that. That might be a Taylor <laughs> it, thing. It that's, doesn't. That's that's going to get vetoed. Yes. You got to stick to the algorithm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks for uh, watching and listening. Pro Football Doc Podcast, Sports Injury Central Podcast. And uh, we're still around all week, and we'll see you next week as well. Uh, thanks for watching.